Hi, it's Ursula from Ursula-Smith.com and I'm back with leather and my Sizzix Big Shot. And um, I've already experimented with cardstock, but today I'm gonna try kind of a different twist on it. Um, so thanks for joining me and here comes the idea. So I'm back with another piece of leather and um, I know I talked about this before, um, but I wanted to just show you what I meant. I'm gonna try and sp spritz off camera actually. So that's one layer of spritzing and you can see it sucks into the leather pretty quickly. So now I'm gonna do two. And then a little more hanging around. So you could probably stop there. I might give it a quick third squirt. And that's that's pretty good. So I'm gonna lay it down on my mat. And this time around, I'm still using cutouts um, that I cut on my Black Hat Cougar, but I'm actually I've got kind of the reverse. So I don't know if you remember, I've seen the video where I use this cutout and did this imprint. So in this case, I'm actually doing the reverse. And I, here's my tips for this. So this is a um, stencil version of the cutout. Um, when I cut the stencil, all I did was cut the stencil. And again, this is three layers. So when I went to line it up, the edges were all wonky and none of them lined up. And it was much more difficult to get the little pieces to align. And I missed something. And so then I had to lift it up and now it's all schmoogy. <laughs> so my advice to you is in the next time I would cut something like this, I would also cut the borders so that I can just basically line up the borders and glue it all together and it'll be a lot easier. Um, so uh, as in the first cutout case, you really want the good side down. <laughs> Generally this would have been the good side, but now it's all kind of wrecked. Up, wrecked. So I'm going to give this second side a shot, even though it's it's got a little schmudgy there. Um, but I'm going to try it this way. And so same thing, we want to line it up. And again, because I have different um, lengths of edges, I probably would have made them longer so that they would, they would not be in, they would not end on the leather because I'm going to get a ridge there. And so we're just gonna go with it. So I'm gonna try and, <laughs> it's gonna be really hard to center it. So it probably has to edge that way just a little bit. So don't do as I did, do as I say. And we're gonna call that lined up. And again, if this was straight, it would be easier to see on the leather, whether it was straight on the leather as well. So down on my mat, and of course now I can't find my, oh, here it is. So my Sizzix embossing plate or mat so I'm probably going to end up with all kinds of ridges here. And Sorry. Lining up this way is very difficult. So mat on top. And then all my shims. And as in the last case, I need a pile of cardstock shims. Because my plastic ones are not long enough. And then we're gonna roll it through. And in this case, the platform and then one tab 
is down on the Sizzix Big Shot. Um, I'll just roll it back through the other direction so you can see when it comes off. And so what we should see, hopefully, is the reverse of that. Oh, yeah, baby. So, uh, lessons learned here. Again, very hard to line up because I didn't cut the border. So the next time, so this is a three-quarter inch um, piece of leather. What I would do is I'd cut the stencil, but then I'd cut the th three-quarter of an inch uh, border around it. I'd make this side much longer so that I didn't get the ridges from the paper. But for my first attempt, not a bad, <laughs> not a bad experiment. So I will go off and try staining these and seeing how it turns out. And then I'll post the results on my blog. So once again, thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.